Hi everyone, your oldest is Coins Kid. I'm just going to dive into XRP once again. Thank you for your support. Big up the Coins Kid crew. So, looking at XRP on the four hourly time frame just here, we kept putting this low yesterday just here. Okay, I did put this on Twitter that we're putting in a bit of a bullish divergence here. You know, in the price action, we've got this low here and this lower low just here. Do you see this? for XRP and in the RSI just there you've got a low and a higher low that's called a, a bullish divergence okay so right now you can see we've got the bounce just there okay but what we've done at this point here yesterday I do believe that we have actually fallen out of this horizontal so because you've fallen out of that unless you can come back into the pattern right here you know you, you are you have created a technical target for yourself again and it's usually from there to there and you, you know you, you've lost support so you can see pretty much you're in a technical target to come down and look boom that's the bear market uh, bear, the bear market the the bear pennant target that we've had for quite a while as well we came down consolidating in a bear pennant lost support created another horizontal which continuation pattern pattern you know support resistance and right there you've actually lost it the support you've came down you create a low and you've carried out a bit of a bullish divergence right there and you're rallying now into the resistance of this particular trend line so you know you are in a technical target until you can break out come back up okay break back into this technical target here this pattern sorry this horizontal and break this resistance because if you do start to break this resistance this particular scenario here is called a throwback coming back into the pattern break the resistance and you will have a technical target to the upside okay and it's equally you know horizontal from there to there you know you lose support as your technical target to the downside you come back up and you break resistance as your technical target to the to the upside basically so you know it, it is a bit lackluster for XRP it, it is almost as like as it, it's it's conditioned and it's trying to get to its technical target at the moment like I've said to you so many times this here this particular area around here is confluence okay because it, there is a, a technical target down there and equally you've got this level just here which is a major level of support of this massive massive multi-month horizontal that you find yourself in look, look at this this is a bullish continuation pattern like I said to you you've come down into a horizontal so you continue with a trend when you break lose support sorry you know if you break resistance you get a reversal and right here you know you came into this particular pattern bullish continuation again you've come into this particular pattern bullish continuation but you retest the support you see that and that's what you did you support 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 and you've had sort of one test of support down there and right now you potentially come back in on our zone just here for a retest of support so it's almost like it's if it's trying to get there isn't it you know but in doing so like I've shown you so many times you're coming down in a beautiful bullish reversal pattern just there look like this come down break this resistance just there get this touch of support carry out the technical target just there uh, retracement to the golden ratio as well the 0618 and at that point you know you might be fruitful putting some cheeky bids in down there 76 cents because at that point I think that you know come sort of the mid mid October after level of consolidation low out create a high low break out boom you know you're looking at fantastic end of October here for XRP where I do think we'll be retesting these highs again you know reclaiming this uh, wedge basically coming back up to retest this level but when you do break out of this wedge like this look you will be within the technical target to this high and this high but if you retrace to this high what are you doing you're breaking the resistance of this trend line okay so it's a massive confluence that you're putting in the brand new impulsive wave making a higher high basically just like you did here for xrp when you're broken out of this level of resistance so that's xrp you know there's not much else i can say than that and i think if we if we'll have a look on the daily time frame again let me tidy this chart up if we have a look on the daily time frame right here let's take a look at the rsi and see what it's doing so the rsi you know on the daily that's not necessarily a low because there's your low almost putting a low so I do think that you know if, if you was to come down there you would potentially have been putting in a massive massive uh, bullish divergence something like that okay on the RSI where you have a little whip down to this trend line just there and just there this comes up a little bit more comes down and look you've got a, a beautiful bullish divergence you've got lower lows and high lows and that's where you get the bounce just there and that's your low and you're going to come up and break that resistance for XRP and right there you know you are a size in the floor like I said to you it doesn't hang around there for too long so so far so good it's doing everything it needs to for continuation that's just a quick update for you on XRP today take care everyone stay healthy stay strong stay tuned bye bye